the survival guide to life. Metacognition is a really fascinating topic. Now, it's really understood as the following. It's thinking about thinking, but in some respects, it's really just more than that. Within psychology, metacognition is defined in the following way. It's a higher order of thinking that enables understanding, analysis, and control of one's cognitive processes, especially when engaged in learning. So what does this mean in practice? How can it be applied in everyday life? Let's take a look now. What is metacognition? Now, metacognition is becoming more and more popular in education settings and has been identified as a way of encouraging students to just really improve their learning by analyzing how they think and retain control over their thought process. Now, you might think this sounds a little abstract, and you would be right. It, is, it really isn't easy to wrap your head around a topic you're too familiar with, though. So, to make it easier to understand, I've broken it down into three subsections that will just really help you grasp the topic as a whole. Number one, it's about being able to analyze how you think about something critically. Now, to become an independent thinker, you must be really able to look at a situation and then challenge what you believe about it. Now, you need to have the mental strength to just analyze your thoughts about a situation. Now, this is essential, and it's the first step of metacognition. Number two, individuals can arrive at their solution to a problem. Now, the vast majority of tasks that a learner faces will be multi-layered. Now, what this means is there's always a simple solution to the problem. Now, within metacognition, you can really reflect on things that have worked in the past, then apply this logic and try to solve the problem you're currently faced with. Number three, Learners, they control their thoughts. Now, if a learner has metacognitive capabilities, they can control what they're thinking about in a particular situation and then develop the appropriate action that can ensure that they're not overstimulated. So, these results in higher performances as a learner, it can help you manage and you will be more capable of delivering the tasks or requirements required upon you. So, as you can see, metacognition is the ability to have self-awareness, okay? To improve yourself and your situation in life. And if you develop these metacognitive skills, you'll tend to be more aware and you will be more balanced and achieve positive outcomes. Now, this is mainly applied, yes, in educational settings, but it's relevant to many aspects in life. It's easy to understand with these tendencies why people succeed and why their capacities are so much. Monday's motivation, guys, metacognitive capability. Physically, mentally, spiritually, financially, consistently.